Alan, three new signings, three goals. You can't ask better than that. No, it's a, it's a perfect start for the lads and perfect for us to get the, the win on the board. And I think it's the first time for a long time we have won on open day. So, delight to tick that one off again. But we made hard work of it, first mm. half. We, we tried a little a new formation. We haven't had much time to work on it because we felt as though we were getting outnumbered in midfield. We knew we, were, we had the game from their last friendly. We knew that then we'd be playing the, the three at the back and it would probably overrun win midfield. So we, we tried the little diamond and it took a while to get mm. into it. But um, I thought the second half, I thought the lads were, were outstanding. Jack and Moxie there. And once Purves got his discipline and stayed in front of the back four and simplified his game, done really well in juniors work rate, out of possession, fantastic. But the rest of them just they stuck to the tasks and I think we fully deserved the win. Um, one thing I, I will say though, a massive <laughs> well done to the groundsman. For, yeah, because a huge difference in the pitch helps us massively. Need a little bit of water the day and that's what we're shy of, but huge well done to Nathan for, for what he's done to the pitch because it allows us to play our game. First half, we saw Jacob Hazel come up with his first goal for the club. It was a well-taken goal, wasn't it? I mean, maybe in the past, nobody would have tried it from out there. <laughs> that's the difference, and that you've got goal scorers on the pitch, and that's what happens when you've got them on the pitch. With half chances become good chances for them. So, a little bit fortunate with the goal, but it was a great composed finish from the kid. And as I say, we could have probably had Junior's gone round the goalkeeper, and he's gone to squared across the hairs, mm. and it's come off a bobble and, and just hit the side netting. And that would have probably put Will in front, but we never, they never really caused with that much problems in behind. I thought Wheat and Jake dealt with it quite well. It was just that we, we switched off at that moment in the second half mm. for me, where the game got stretched a little bit and we weren't as compact in that midfield area as we should have been, and allowing the ball getting played into the striker. So, little things still to fix. It's a long way to go. It's, it's, it's an opening day. You just want to win the game, and there's, there's loads to work on. But it's give us <laughs> loads of problems for me for the team next week mm. because the three front lads, as I say, Junior done really well. But Kane's come on and, and showed exactly why I wanted to sign the kid and why I was desperate to bring him. Yeah, and I say he's got he's got PS to burn. Everyone's seen that and what a start for the kid. It makes a change for Kane Felix to score for us <laughs> instead of against us for Geisley. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I said to Kane, even when I was manager up at Blythe, he just ripped us to part up there. He seems to like to play in the northern area, so I think if we keep him up here and he keeps doing that, <laughs> he keeps mm. playing. But listen, when I spoke to the kid, it didn't take long to get the deal done. When I got permission to speak to them, we were done within half an hour, an hour, and then obviously it was down to yourselves to get, mm. <laughs> get it across the line. And the kid was desperate to come, and I think he's shown everyone knows what he's capable of. And if we can keep him happy, then we've got it's got problem for me without a doubt to try and pick the, the right forward line but it's a nice problem to have mm. for a change and not me digging around and trying to put something together it's, I've got some nice problems at the minute We haven't mentioned Mark Beck's second goal <laughs> lovely <laughs> lovely ball in from Ben Headley wasn't it, it it's, it's, it's manner from heaven for a striker like Becky isn't it? It is and we're, not, we're, we're getting used to and we've, we've said to Ben the minute you cut back just put it in the box the two strikers will make runs will occupy people in as soon as he'd done that and he put it in, I seen Becky's eyes light up. I seen his wrestling went two centre halves, which freed Becky up. Mm. And all of a sudden, if Becky was going to score. That didn't matter what he was putting that in the net. So, delighted for him to get his goal because obviously he never scored in pre season. Mm. He was probably playing on his mind, but this is where it counts at the end of the day. Pre season, pre season. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't mm. matter one little bit to me. Mm. This is when the real thing starts. And I couldn't fault the lads to do. Yeah, a good three points. It gets us up and running nicely, doesn't it? And now we've got to think about Charlie away next week. Yeah, tough place again, Charlie. Really tough place. And new manager Andy Priest, who was the assistant there, I know Andy. But um, it'll be a tough game again. There's no easy games in this league. There never is. And I thought Gloucester were a decent side. They play some good football. They'll be a threat. So we've got to accept that we're not going to get things our own way. You've got to earn it. And I thought in that second half. We earned the right to play and we played our football. I thought Jack and Mox outstanding in there. But it makes a big difference though, doesn't it, when there's a forward line that can take <laughs> chances. <Get> the chances. <laughs> That's a big thing. How yeah. many times did we not take mm. the chances last year we and mm. end off Cosmo at the other end? Today, we've got three lads who score goals for fun. So you couldn't ask for a better start. This. So yeah, I can have a nice glass of wine and have a nice little relaxing evening tonight and I'll, I'll not be getting sacked till next week. <laughs> Ha <laughs>